there is no exhaustive list of items that we wish to buy before a baby arrives. So here is a list of 10 items that I feel are a must have for every new parent. Hello everyone, I'm Anisha and I'm here to share my knowledge and experiences with new parents out there looking for answers to the never ending questions and doubts. Today I will be talking about 10 items that made my life as a new parent easier and took off a little bit of that load of my head. Do watch the video till the end because I would not only be talking about things that are important for the baby but I will also be talking about a few items that are very important for the mother. The first item on my list is the sterilizer. We all want to give the best to the baby and when it comes to hygiene we go overboard by cleaning the bottles, teeth, toys again and again to make sure they are safe and clean for the baby's use. A sterilizer helps you maintain good hygiene levels in just quick 10 minutes and you do not have to go on boiling and wasting a lot of gas and energy. I would recommend a sterilizer that has a capacity of approximately 5 to 6 bottles so you do not have to worry about sterilizing all the bottles, pump parts, teethers, toys in separate cycles. They can all be done together in one or maximum two cycles. Next in line is the quick dry sheet. Now these little humans pee a lot and we do not want to keep them in diapers all day long. So a quick dry sheet helps you give your baby some diaper free time but takes care of the wetness and leakages. There are many companies providing quick dry sheets in different sizes. You can either buy them from Amazon, firstcry.com or from your local market. The third item is the wet wipes. This is something that is on everybody's list. I personally prefer something like this that have at least 98% of water content. These wet wipes have zero to minimum concentration of alcohols and parabens and are very safe on the baby sensitive skin. Next is the nappies. Again, when we think about babies, we think about diapers. Lots and lots and lots of diapers. But we can always go for the environment friendly and reusable cotton diapers. They are very good on the baby sensitive skin. There are many types of cotton diapers available in the markets from flats to fitted diapers to uh, pocket diapers. All in ones there is a huge range. From the many types that I have used, I personally liked super bottoms a lot. I have used their super nappies for my baby's diaper free time. They have a dry feel layer on the inside that keeps the baby bump dry and also hold approximately 1 to 2 B depending upon the baby. I have included a link to super buttons in the description box below. Do check them out if you want to know more about different types of diapers. Next in line is the bathing chair. Now, with the baby comfortably seated in the bathing chair, you have both your hands free and you can easily bathe the baby without any help. This is something your mother or mother-in-law would not tell you because they love to bathe the little one. The next item is the nipple cream. Now, with the starting of motherhood, your breastfeeding journey also starts and so does the exploitation of your nipples. They will be chaffed, cut, bruised, bit and hurt. A good nipple cream will take care of that for you and you can comfortably enjoy your journey with the baby. Another very important item is the pump. If you have decided to nurse your baby, then I would suggest investing in a good, efficient electric pump. It will not only help you provide milk for the baby when you are away, but it will also help you feed the baby if you are unable to nurse directly for any reason. You can pump and store milk in the freezer for approximately six months. Do give me a thumbs up if you would like to know more about pumping and how I created a stash for my baby before I went back to work. The next item is the feeding pillow. Now, this is a savior. It takes care of the comfort of the baby while feeding and it also helps your back. There are two kinds of feeding pillows available. One of them is like this. It has a hard foam and a belt attached to it. You can tie the belt around your waist and it stays put in place. The another type is something like this. It is in the shape of a donut and has a very soft cushiony feel. I used the second type and I was very very happy with it. Then comes the breast pads. Now trust me there will be leakages 
and a good breast pad will be like a best friend who takes care of every embarrassing situation. There are two kinds of breast pads available. The first one is a disposable breast pad like this and the second one is a reusable and washable breast pad like this. They are both equally good and you can choose either of them. The next item on my list is the feeding cover. Now I have nursed my baby everywhere I've taken her. In the malls, cabs, restaurants, to a friend's party everywhere. I actually started enjoying motherhood to the fullest after I started feeding my baby in public without the fear of getting embarrassed and a feeding cover really helped me overcome that barrier. The one I used is from Amazon and it looks something like this. I have included a link to all the items I have talked about today in the description box below. If you feel there is something that can be added to the list of essential items, please do leave a comment below and we can help our community of new mothers grow together. Do subscribe to my channel and I will be sharing my experiences and tips and tricks that helped me through my journey as a new parent. Bye!